Good day everyone, we are the 5th group and we are here to report all about monsoon, a seasonal wind. Our report consists of monsoon wind's definition, causes, how it formed, difference between the two monsoons, and additional information all about monsoon winds. So, let's start. So first, let's define what a monsoon is based on its etymology. Monsoon came from Arabic word mausim, which means season or change in wind direction. It developed from Portuguese word moncow and English word monsoon in the late 16th century. By definition, a monsoon is a seasonal shift in the prevailing wind direction that usually brings with a different kind of weather. Monsoon causes wet and dry seasons throughout much of the tropics. It usually happens in the region of South and Southeast Asia, blowing from Southwest between May and September and bringing rain, which is the wet monsoon, and on the Northeast between October and April, which is the dry monsoon. All of these monsoon winds travel from high pressure to low pressure. So there are three main causes of monsoon winds, and one of it is Coriolis force. This occurs because wind essentially moves from high to low pressure areas or regions. As the wind is deflected towards right in northern hemisphere, this will become southwest monsoon. During this process, landmass and water begin to cool and land starts losing heat faster than the ocean. Second main cause of monsoon winds is due to change in season, which is summer or the dry monsoon and winter, which is the wet monsoon. Third main cause is the Eurasian continent. They cause us a large pressure gradient between southern and northern hemisphere. They have a big impact and play an important role on how monsoon occurs. So now, let's talk about how a monsoon occurs. In areas such as southern Asia, winds blow from land to ocean most of the year, making the climate dry. However, during certain months of the year, the winds begin to blow from the ocean to the land, making the air moist. This moist ocean air is what causes the monsoon rains over many countries. So as you can see, the picture shows the monsoonal circulation during summer. Since monsoons are caused by differences in solar heating between the oceans and continents, during the early summer, the increasing solar energy heats up the land surfaces fairly quickly. Water, on the other hand, heats much more slowly in response to the sun. The relatively warm land surface will heat the air over it, causing it to rise or convect. The convection of warm air produces an area of low pressure near the land surface. Meanwhile, the air over the cooler ocean will be more dense and tend to stay at the surface or sink downwards from aloft. Thus, during the summer, oceanic air flows onshore towards the low pressure over land. This onshore flow is continually supplied by cooler oceanic air sinking from higher levels in the atmosphere. In the upper atmosphere, the rising continental air is drawn outward over the oceans to replace the sinking oceanic air thus completing the cycle. Meanwhile, during winter, the situation is reversed. Land surfaces cool off quickly in response to cooler weather, but the same property of water that makes it slow to absorb heat, called heat capacity, also causes it to cool slowly. As a result, continents are usually cooler than the oceans surrounding them during winter. This sets up a new circulation in the reverse direction. Air over the sea, now warmer than that over the land, rises and is replaced by winds flowing off the continent. The continental winds are supplied by cooler air sinking from aloft. At upper atmospheric levels, the rising oceanic air moves over the land to replace the sinking continental air. Sinking air prevents the development of clouds and rain, so during the winter, monsoon continental areas are typically very dry. Southwest Monsoon Ang Southwest Monsoon ay kinakarakterize ng malakas sa pagbagsak ng ulan at mayroong humid na weather. 
Isa sa mga paraan para matandaan natin ang, con- ang concept ng Southwest Monsoon ay ang word na South. Sa ating nakaraang lessons, napag-aralan natin kung paano magbasa ng wind direction. Uh, in this case, galing yung wind sa South kapuntang North. The Southwest Monsoon usually occurs between the months of June to October. But why in these months? Kung makikita nyo dito sa diagram, yung right most part, uh, makikita natin kapag sa buwan ng June, nakatilt ang North Hemisphere ng Earth towards the Sun. Habang yung Southern Hemisphere naman ay nakatalikod sa araw. Kung mapapansin nyo rin, baliktad ang nangyayari kapag December, uh, which is yan yung Amihan or Northeast Monsoon. Since these areas are exposed to solar radiation, it is relatively hot knowing warm air rises. A huge area of low pressure forms creating a vacuum effect and pulling much cooler air from the southwest. Dito sa diagram, uh, makikita natin na may low pressure sa bandang China, India at uh, sa eastern Philippines. Dahil sa pressure gradient, nag-follow nga hangin from high to low pressure. Ito, makikita nyo dito na galing siya sa, sa southwest yung wind. Question, since these are all winds, how does this weather system bring moisture or rain to the country? Uh, ang habagat kasi uh, nang gagaling sa may Australia at ito ay papunta sa, sa may Indi- Indonesia at papalapit sa Equator. Uh, kung makikita natin dito sa mga diagrams, um, saka na may tutatawid uh, sa may West Philippine Sea at pagdating dito sa atin may daladala na siyang ulan at thunderstorm. Northeast Monsoon This season is characterized with light to moderate rainfall and a prevailing cold wind. The northeast monsoon occurs from October to March. Winter monsoon weather features a generally less strong east or northeast breeze that is cooler and dry compared to the summer monsoon weather. With prolonged periods of successive cloudless days, the winter monsoon features cool and dry air that originates in a vast anticyclone. A weather system with a high barometric pressure which forms over Siberia, Mongolia, and northern China during each northern winter. The winter monsoon air from the anticyclone pushes outward in a clockwise motion from its center and competes with the summer monsoon over a period of a week or two, usually starting in late September and early October before finally dominating the weather with a cooler and drier northeast monsoon in most Asian tropical and subtropical destinations through to the following April. How Northeast Monsoon Forms The reverse happens during the winter, when the land is colder than the sea, establishing a pressure gradient from land to sea. This causes the winds to blow over the Indian subcontinent toward the Indian Ocean in a northeasterly direction, causing the Northeast Monsoon to form. Now for the difference between Southwest Monsoon and Northeast Monsoon. Let's start at Northeast Monsoon. This season starts from December and ends in February. It does not possess any rain in, rainless intervals and it does not have any branches. Minor portion of the annual rainfall in India is due to this type of monsoon. These monsoon winds blow from Northeast towards the seaside. This caused rainfall only in the Coromandel Coast including Tamil Nadu when this strike at the wetlands of the Eastern Ghats. These winds blow from land to sea as a result of reversal in the direction of wind or start of retreating, retreating monsoon season. Amihan is the Filipino term of northeast monsoon which is a cool and dry northeast wind coming from Siberia and China and blows down to Southeast Asia. High peak season in the Philippines is during the Amihan season since it brings the best weather conditions. The air is cool, there is less rain, and humidity is low, plus the sunshine is less threatening. Now we go to the southwest monsoon or Habaga. This season is from June to September. It does not rain continuously. There are rainless intervals in this season. It blows in India, namely the Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea Branch and Bay of Bengal Branch. Major portion of annual rainfall in India is due to this type of monsoon. These winds cause countrywide rainfall. 
This blow from oceanic high pressure areas towards the low pressure areas of lands. These winds blow during advancing monsoon season. Habagat, on the other hand, is characterized by frequent heavy rainfall and humid weather. During this monsoon or hanging habagat, high pressure area is at the Australian continent and the low pressure area is the, at the North China, Mongolia, and Siberia. The gusty winds from the west and excessive rainfall often turn to dangerous typhoons. Low season in the Philippines occurs during the Habagat season because of the frequent rainfall and high humidity. A series of flash floods and landslides are regular incident during the season. So for the next slide, we have the Rainfall Advisory. Under the heavy rainfall warning system of Pagasa, a yellow rainfall advisory is raised when the expected rainfall amount is between 7.5 mm and 15 mm within one hour and likely to continue. Communities given this advisory are advised to be aware of the weather condition and warn that flooding may be possible in low-lying areas. Next is the Orange Rainfall Advisory. When this advisory is raised in areas where rainfall is between 15 mm and 30 mm within one hour, flooding is a definite threat in communities under this orange alert. Next is the Red Rainfall Advisory. This is issued when downpours constitute an emergency. This is raised when observed rainfall is more than 30 mm within one hour or if rainfall has continued for the past 3 hours and is more than 65 mm. When Pag-asa raises a red warning, communities should be prepared to respond. It means serious flooding is in and that residents should be ready to evac evacuate to safety. So how this works? Based on the advisory level, find out if your area is affected. In cases of alert and emergency, contact your LGU. Always have a copy of emergency contact numbers during these times. All LGUs have identified evacuation areas to be used in case of flooding. For example, Barangay Multipurpose Court, Selected Barangay Halls, and Public Schools, especially Elementary and High School Schools. And that's all for our report. Thank you.